Meet the RQ-4B Global Hawk, America's biggest unmanned aerial vehicle. Northrop Grumman's Global Hawk is one of, if not the world's premier surveillance and reconnaissance unmanned aircraft system and the Air Force's go-to eye in the sky. In the RQ-4 name, the R is the Department of Defense designation for reconnaissance, and Q means unmanned aircraft system. The 4 refers to the series of purpose-built, remotely piloted aircraft systems. The fuselage uses aluminum, semi-monocoque construction with a V-tail. The wings are made of composite materials. The Global Hawk is powered by an Allison Rolls-Royce F-137RR100 turbofan engine with 7,600 pound-force thrust and carries a payload of 3,000 pounds. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is designed to fly at high altitudes of up to 60,000 feet, 18 kilometers, according to Northrop Grumman's website. Commercial passenger aircraft typically fly at altitudes of 31,000 to 38,000 feet, or 9 to 11 kilometers. The drone can fly for up to 32 hours and has a range of up to 12,300 nautical miles, or 22,780 kilometers. With a length of 44 feet, 13 meters, a wingspan of 116 feet, 35 meters, and a gross weight of 25,600 pounds, 12 tons, the Global Hawk is comparable in size to the Lockheed Martin U-2 reconnaissance aircraft. In the early 2000s, both the U.S. Navy and U.S. Air Force began buying Global Hawks. The Navy, in a 2004 statement, said the Air Force bought four Global Hawk aircraft at roughly $360 million. According to a 2013 news release by Northrop Grumman, the company has since delivered a total of 37 Global Hawks to the Air Force. The Navy in recent years has been buying MQ-4C Triton drones, which have a 130-foot, 40-meter wingspan, slightly larger than the Global Hawk. The Navy in March requested two MQ-4 Tritons and budgeted $473 million for those aircraft and associated equipment. The RQ-4 Global Hawk made its first flight on February 28, 1998, and has since amassed more than 250,000 flight hours, including in military operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, North Africa, and the greater Asia-Pacific region, according to the company website. Why the U.S. Air Force Loves the Global Hawk during Operation Iraqi Freedom more than 15 years ago, former Joint Chief of Staff General Richard Myers described integrated multi-platform attack as a kind of fusion, describing how at the time prototype Global Hawk drones were used to gather real-time intelligence data and network video feed sensor data to other airborne platforms through ground-based command and control. A Global Hawk, Myers explained, could obtain crucial time-sensitive war data and network the intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, data to several assets such as an Air Force Joint Surveillance Target Attack Radar System, JSTAR's surveillance plane. While a mere prototype at the time, the Global Hawk drone functioned in combat as a war zone sensor node able to find and transmit high-value targeting data, a development which provided a foundation of sorts for the years that followed. The use of the term fusion could be described as foreshadowing what was to unfold in the following years. Meyer's description, therefore, might correctly be described as ahead of its time, given the Air Force's current push toward greater ISR multi-node cross-platform and cross-domain sensor data networking. Sensor fusion, a term often used to describe the computer-enabled data organization and analysis enabled by the F-35 fighter jet, can be viewed in terms of a multi-year progression wherein new data sharing and securing ISR technologies have successfully been improved and sent to war. The advent of AI-empowered computer algorithms, breakthrough levels of autonomy, and secure yet decentralized applications of command and control have greatly transformed the realm of the possible regarding the wartime use of ISR. All of the years of drone flights refined, cultivated, and built Meyer's description of fusion a technical maturation now reaching a culmination through the Air Force's Advanced Battle Management Systems program. For example, the Air Force and Northrop Grumman are pioneering upgraded ground-based command and control systems for the Air Force's Global Hawk drone designed to expedite man-machine interface, enable multi-platform interoperability, reduce latency, and provide the technical foundation 
for continued software upgrades to improve sensing range, image resolution, and data management. The new Global Hawk Ground Station Modernization Program took its first flight at Edwards Air Force Base, California in December 2020. The system, built by Northrop Grumman, is said by developers to transform the underlying software, paving the way for interoperability with other Air Force systems, enhance responsiveness to ad hoc tasking, and lower impact update in the future. Increasing or accelerating what the Northrop statement called ad hoc tasking seemed quite significant as it leverages new levels of emerging autonomy and on-the-spot mission adjustments made possible by advanced computer algorithms. Global Hawk autonomy, according to Northrop developers, begins with the click of a mouse, which directs the aircraft to start its engine, take off, and conduct its reconnaissance missions. The new drone control system also incorporates new cockpit displays and emerging cyber hardening technologies. A Hawk with Global Reach The Global Hawk was developed in the mid to late 1990s and first entered service with the United States in 2001, just in time to see deployment to Afghanistan. Unusually, the Global Hawk was tossed into service while still in the prototype phase, with improvements steadily incorporated into the then new platform. During its nearly 20-year service career, the Hawk has amassed some impressive numbers, including the first unmanned aircraft across the Pacific Ocean and later set a 34.3-hour flight endurance record. As a dedicated high-altitude, long-endurance platform, the Global Hawk foregoes weapons for a suite of observation equipment, including a synthetic aperture radar, a class of radar typically used on moving airborne platforms to create high-resolution 3D images particularly landscape features. In addition, Northrop's Global Hawk is equipped with an electro-optical infrared camera that allows for day and night observation capability. RQ-4 Global Hawk Retirement The successor to the RQ-4 Global Hawk should be available for service late in this decade, Lieutenant General David S. Nahome, Air Force Deputy Chief of Staff for Plans and Programs, told the Senate Appropriations Committee on July 21st. Answering questions on divestitures of systems the Air Force wants to make in order to free up funds for new technologies, Nahome said the Block 40 Global Hawk fleet is no longer survivable against modern air defenses and that its replacement is coming, but not swiftly. At the speed it flies, the altitude it flies, and the makeup of the aircraft, it's just not survivable in these contested environments that we're going to be looking to gather intelligence from in the future, the home said of the Block 40 Global Hawk, but we rely on it to meet the ground moving target indicator mission, along with the E-8 Joint Stars, he told Senator Richard Shelby. He noted that the Air Force is starting to retire the E-8s due to their advanced age. The Block 40s will be very critical in the next six, seven, eight years while well, we go to the what next, Nahome said. He deferred further discussion of the follow-on capability to a closed classified session. He also admitted that the threat has accelerated much more in the past few years. Also present at the committee meeting, Senator Richard Shelby pointed out that China's strong economic base makes the Asian country a much bigger threat than the Soviet Union ever was during the Cold War. Similar concerns were voiced by Air Force General Charles Brown earlier this year when he stated that many legacy intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platforms are found to be unable to deliver needed capabilities on competition-relevant timelines. It was recommended that such platforms be phased out and resources be invested in modern and relevant systems. 